I'm very excited today because in the mail I've obtained what Richard Kelly calls the collector's item of the 20th century. What is the collector's item, you may ask? The Fire Officer's Guide to Disaster Control. Why would the Fire Officer's Guide to Disaster Control be the collector's item of the 20th century? Let's take a glance. Well, the copyright date shows 1992. Chapter 1, Disaster Planning. Disasters occur, occur daily, causes and effects of disasters. This seems pretty normal. Chapter 2, Historical Lessons. Geographical distances, differences, historical backgrounds. So far, it's pretty normal. Chapter 3, Organizational Structure and Incident Command. Chapter 4, Resource Management and Augmentation. Chapter 5, Training and Preparation. Chapter 6, Communications and Information Management. All this is pretty normal stuff so far. Chapter 7, Catastrophic Fires. Chapter 8, Civil Disorders and Riots. Chapter 9, Weather-Related Natural Disasters. Chapter 10, Terrain-Based Natural Disasters. Earthquakes, volcanoes, landslides. Chapter 11, transportation disasters, aviation disasters, railroad disasters. So far, pretty normal stuff. Chapter 12, hazardous materials incidents. I mean, I'm pretty sure fire officers need to know about that. But uh, right here, chapter 13, enemy attack and UFO potential. The UFO threat, a fact. Adverse potential of UFOs. UFOs emergency action. And some of the other um, chapters after that are mass casualties and mass evacuation, aftermath and recovery. Let's take a look at excerpts from this chapter 13. The UFO threat, a fact. In this chapter, we will now turn our attention to the very real threat posed by unidentified flying objects, UFOs, whether they exist or not. The well-documented and highly publicized War of the Worlds radio drama by Orson Welles shows how even a perceived existence to alien creatures can cause very real disaster-like conditions and panic among a given populace. In addition, if the apparent visits by alien beings and their space vehicles should pose any type of threat, it will, as always, be the fire service that is called upon to provide the first line of life-saving defense and disaster mitigation. Hence, as we near the year 2000 and move beyond, any comprehensive disaster plan should address the potential for panic and other deleterious effects that might befall a populated area when unexplainable phenomena occur. His interest in UFOs was greatly heightened when Congress in 1969 adopted a law, 14 CFR CHV Part 1211, Extraterrestrial Exposure, which gave the NASA Administrator the arbitrary discretion to quarantine under armed guard any object, person, or other form of life which has been extraterrestrially exposed. The very fact that our congressman believed there was a necessity for such drastic authority made Chuck wonder if they had only our astronauts in mind when they adopted it. Could it be applied to anyone who has had a UFO encounter? Whether it has or not is not likely to be a topic for public dissemination. UFO Hazards The two principal hazards noted with relation to UFOs have been attributed to powerful electrical fields which they can project in a general or localized area and the psychological effects they have produced on the general populace or individual contacts. Force Field Impact the disruption of air and ground travel has often been reported in the presence of UFOs. The ignition systems of auto and aircraft engines have apparently been affected by energized force fields to such an extent as to stop their operation. 
the headlights and radios have also ceased to function. Adverse potentials of UFOs. The UFO threat, a fact. UFO discussion, why now? UFO background information. UFOs, what are they? UFO classification system. Shapes of UFOs. History of UFOs. UFO organizations. Why the secrecy? UFO missions. UFO hazards. Force field impact. Communications disruption. Regional power blackouts. Fireballs over Syracuse, the blackout connection. UFOs, the panic hazard. Personal hazards. Physiological. Warning, near approaches of UFOs can be harmful to human beings. Do not stand under a UFO that is hovering at low altitude. Do not touch or attempt to touch a UFO that has landed. In either case, the safe thing to do is to get away from there very quickly and let the military take over. There is a possibility of radiation danger and there are known cases where persons have been burned by rays emanating from UFOs. Don't take chances with UFOs. And in view of the federal law cited earlier empowering NASA's administrators to impound without a hearing anyone who touches a UFO or its occupants, it would be inadvisable to make personal contact unless you are willing to submit to NASA's quarantine requirements should the law be invoked. Besides the possible physical effects of approaching a UFO, for example, burns, radiation, there may be a psychological effect produced by force fields that could induce a hypnotic state in the viewer, a loss of consciousness, memory relapse, and submission to the occupants. <laughs> and it mentions uh, some physical effects have been observed at locations where UFOs have landed. Circular patterns of crops destroyed by heat or radiation and baking or sterilization of the soil at the site. I've been trying to get my hands on this book for a good 20 years and I finally have it in my possession. And if you would like to get the collector's item of the 20th century, there's a link in the description below. I might even provide an annotation. I think I, I think I initially heard about this book on sightings back in the 90s, but I'm not too sure. Although I think it's one of my close buddies told me about this. And I had only seen, it was so long ago, I only saw it in text, like old school, no font text. And I read the context of it. Now we have to ask ourselves, what is chapter 13 doing in this book? And it, 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 it doesn't only show UFOs, it says UFO threat a fact. How did this book happen? I had to do this video for free. So if you enjoyed this kind of information, consider subscribing to the Jonathan Lippy YouTube channel. May the force be with you, and rock out, UFOs, aliens, Chewbacca's and Wookiees, Wookiees and Boba Fett's.